Now we are going to be starting the peel. Step one, degrease the skin using alcohol. I don't use acetone in degreasing the skin. Acetone can create state of irritation and increase the redness and skin sensitivity. The patient is under conscious sedation. She is breathing on her own. She's conscious, I can talk to her. I perform the peel under conscious sedation because it's painful if I want to go to the papillary dermis or the IRD. We can do the exfoliation without any sedation. When I perform the blue peel, the solution is already prepared and then utilizing a sponge, I paint the solution nice, gently, and evenly without skipping any area. The solution has to be applied all over the face, including the lower lid and the upper lid. When I do the lower lid, the eye is open. I open it on purpose because when I'm painting the solution, I want to be sure that I'm painting the solution only on the skin and no acid is penetrating the eyes. You should not put any shield in the eyes. You should not put any ointment in the eyes because that will create more problem which will trap the acid without you seeing it. When you paint, you always have similar number of strokes everywhere on the face. When you come to the neck area, you apply the solution where you wipe it quickly, the short contact with the skin allow the frost to form very gradually without leaving any demarcation line. Notice the frost formation and the frost when it is a speckle as you can see is gonna get heavier and heavier the more acid I apply. We're gonna be applying the acid from a already prepared volume I am using here the 20% TCA mixed with the blue base. Notice the frost now starting to spread all over the face and the little dots start to connect. Notice I open the eyelid, open the eye when I'm working around that area and to paint the acid in similar strokes in different directions. The frost is forming now into a sheet. This sheet here, still not completely connected, and you can see the pink bag around. I went around the whole face to create an even frost and even blue. I am trying to even the frost now. And notice when I work on the jawline, I paint, I paint, and try to allow a short contact between the acid and the skin at the area where I don't want to have a demarcation line. If I see a lot of pink and I want to go deeper, I keep painting the acid, the frost will get whiter and the pink will get less. And you can see now the sheet is almost complete, like a curtain with a pink bag around. The pink is due to the normal blood flow that's still intact in the papillary dermis. You can see the fine line. When I squeeze the skin or pinch the skin, those fine wrinkles, we call them the epidermal sliding. It's the sliding of the coagulated epidermis on the dermis that is not coagulated where the acid did not reach yet. The epidermal sliding indicates I am in the papillary dermis. My frost is a sheet. I have a pink background. Keep that. Always observe the changes. Epidermal sliding is a good sign that you reach the papillary dermis. The epidermal sliding will disappear when you reach the IRD. When you have more pink and less epidermal sliding, you apply a little bit more acid to bring the level of depth to even to the papillary dermis and then you can see the epidermal sliding start to show again. In exfoliative procedure, you will not see the epidermal sliding. Now in this area, as you can see here, I have more pink compared to this area where I have less pink. 
So that means I am here in the papillary dermis. Here I'm very superficial in the papillary dermis. So I need to go uh, deeper to match the level between both sides. Always paint with that gauze without making any solution drip or move around. Always look for even frost, even pink. When you apply the acid on the neck, you can peel the neck too. But the neck, you can be, peel it, be sure that you stick to the papillary dermis or do what we call a deeper exfoliative level. Evaluate the whole face. You have to create even frost with even pink, with even blue, to ensure that there is no demarcation line between all the level of depth they are trying to achieve. You go to the hair lines, and if you want to go to certain areas deeper, your point will be to paint more. If I paint more in the preauricular areas, this area will pull the cheek backward. It's like a facelift. So here, if I go to the IRD, and in front of it, the area is a papillary dermis, it will pull back the skin, and that's the concept of chemical tightening. We see that some area has more pink than the other, so I would like to bring that level into an equal level to match the right side. When you create the frost and the pink, the frost have to stay at least for a few minutes, four or five minutes before it starts to fade to indicate that you held the right depth. For maximum tightness, you can go to the IRD into the areas where you want to lift the preauricular areas to tighten the cheeks, the forehead above the eyebrow to lift the eyebrow, epidermal sliding, white frost on the cheek with more pink with epidermal sliding under my finger. This is a lot of pink around the eyelid indicate I'm still especially in the upper eyelid at the exfoliative level. What I do now, I take a Q-tip, cotton Q-tip, and try to touch those areas or the difficult areas to reach with the acid to perfect the peel and create some design. The glabrous skin of the upper eyelid can be treated to the depth of papillary dermis and the IRD, but the, low, the lid proper below the fold, the maximum depth is either deep exfoliation or the papillary dermis. Try not to skip any area, especially in dark skin people, because what you skip will come back to haunt you. That an area look older or darker than the surrounding skin. If I want to lift the eyebrow, what I will do is I can apply the acid above the eyebrow all the way to the hairline to the level of the IRD. That will create a lift. Here I'm trying to lift the eyebrow by applying an acid. Here I'm trying to get rid of the cross feet because there is a three ways how you are going to be removing a wrinkle in an area. You wipe the wrinkles because it's going to peel off, and then you do redraping of the skin by pulling the skin to a different direction, and then by the overall tightening of the skin. We have finished the blue peel evenly, papillary dermis in everywhere on the face, papillary dermis where you still see some pink, and you can see we have more pink in the neck area with the epidermal sliding. And you can see that I have, the epidermal sliding is being reduced in some areas. That's because in those areas, apparently we have reached the IRD. <laughs> <laughs>